Hello everybody, today I will be doing a countdown of all the books I've read for the 2017 Booktubeathon. You like New York City in the daytime, I like New York. And you know, like you have to read seven books and seven books, and I didn't do so because I. I it was a pretty bad week, to be honest. It wasn't the best week in my life at all. It was a pretty hard week for me personally with my anxiety with like everything in my life and so obviously when that happens it's like it it doesn't lead me to reading <laughs> it, it kind of gives me a it gives me a slump and I do not read in reading slumps but I still was able to read six books so I'm pretty happy about that so I will share those with you and I will walk through um, every day of the week and what I read and everything. So first day, Monday. In the night time, you say you like sleeping with the air off. Monday was a terrible day, a terrible day in my life personally, but also a terrible day in my reading life. I only listened to one hour of audiobook of Empire of Storms, and that's it. That's really all I did. It was a pretty uh, huge day in my life. Like my car broke down and like I had to go save my cat. It just like everything. It was like a terrible day. I don't, I need it on. You like the like. All right, so now we're on Tuesday. Me and my sister went to the park and it was a beautiful day. Right now our summer in Montreal is beautiful. I love it. It is really hot, but it's really nice and beautiful sunny days. And I continued reading Empire of Storms and I did I finish it that day? I'm not sure, but the little vlogs will show you that. So yeah, and it was really nice, but I didn't finish it. So I didn't complete a book um, outside. Um, for the whole like challenge, I didn't do that. Still read outside a little bit. So here's the footage from that day. Yesterday just started wrong and just everything went wrong yesterday uh, in my life. I am going to the park with my sister and I'm going to read there. I don't know, like I don't want to put pressure on me because I it's just, it, my life has been a mess right now. So I just want to like relax and just no pressure and stuff. So yeah, I'm reading Empire of Storms still, so if you've seen my um, 24 hours of reading, well, I'm still reading Empire of Storms. I haven't done the 24 in 48 because I really wasn't in the mood to do it. I only read like 6 hours in the 2 days, um, so I was just really like not in a great mood and I didn't want to do anything I didn't want to, so yeah. Alright, so, but Empire of Storms is going well, like, honestly, it's going pretty fairly well. I think I have, like, 200 pages remaining, uh, so that's not that much. They started saying when you can't hide, run, when you can't run, hide. Started thinking love's a loaded gun, nobody wants to fight. And when did we all stop thinking that the world stopped spinning and a kiss goodnight? And when did our heart be beating so fast? I mean, it was worth the while. I wanna, I want I just came back from the park and it was super nice. I did a little bit of reading and I don't know how many pages because I'm currently reading on my Kindle. Coming through the windows, I sleep late, so I just keep them all closed. And I'm pretty sure I finished it that day too, or the day after. So, yeah. I am really excited right now because I finished yesterday my first book. I finished Empire of Storms. I'm really happy about finishing this book because it's a really long book. It's almost 700 pages. I didn't read the whole 700 pages in two days. Yesterday, I didn't put that much pressure on me, but I was like, you're not going to sleep until you finish Empire of Storms. So right now, I am caught up with this series, and I'm incredibly happy about that. 
and I really loved it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. It was amazing. I read the Assassin's Blade and I read it in almost a day but it was on the span of 24 hours but not in the same day. So I didn't complete this book in a day uh, but I completed it in 24 hours. Well, I'm gonna talk more about them like how I feel about them in my wrap up but I didn't really like this book actually. Empire of Storms was the book with the person on the cover. The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Maas is kind of a book that has five novellas so five short stories about character Selena Sardothian before the first book, which is Throne of Glass. I'm gonna read The Assassin's Blade. I will try to finish this one today, I would like to. And then after, I will start a series of unfortunate events. You ignore the music on the radio, I don't. I, but I read this book completely in a book two with on, so it was 435 pages. And I read this in 24 hours, which is great. I actually listened to the audiobook and yeah, I really like the audiobooks for Throne of Glass. I tried to listen to the audiobook for Ekotar and I didn't like it. I thought the um, the person reading wasn't that, I don't know, like <laughs> not my cup of tea maybe, I don't know. And this book is the book I chose for the hyped book because everybody was talking about it, everybody was raving about it and I think I just... Uh, I just hyped it too much in my head and it wasn't that great, to be honest, personally. Hello, we're on the fourth day of the book Tubathon and I finished my second book, The Assassin's Blade. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I, I just... The cover. The book itself, I didn't love. <laughs> as much as I thought I would. Honestly, I'm going to start a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. Let's do this. Sing along. I don't ask for you to then I started a series of unfortunate events. I had never read those and I was so incredibly surprised at how much I'm involved in the story and how much I love those books. So I started with at the bad beginning and I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked it and this one is, well it could be many multiple challenges but it's gonna be the one um, for the cover because I really liked the cover. So I finished my third book which I'm quite happy about and it is The Bad Beginning by Lemony Snicket and I really liked it. 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoy this series well right now and I'm really excited to continue on with it. Uh, it is incredibly interesting and I've been really liking it. It is middle grade fiction and that's like in my cup of tea. So I've been really enjoying this series. And then right now I am currently reading Reptile Room, which is the second one. And I just want to marathon this whole series and it makes me really happy. So I'm gonna do that. I hope I will read a couple of them in the weekend. Then I read The Reptile Room, which is my favorite right now out of the four I read. And I really love this book. It is really nice. I just love the characters and just everything about it. This book was amazing. I gave it 4.25 out of 5 stars. And this book is the book for um, read a book about characters that are really different from you. And to be honest, the three Baudelaire uh, children are incredibly different from me. First, there's Violet, who's really intelligent, and she's like an inventor, and she loves making things and stuff, and that's really not me. Then there's Klaus, which kind of looks a little bit like me, but he loves reading about anything. Like, he could read about birds, wolves, just barely like anything, like plants and stuff. And for me, I don't like that. I'm really a, a stock reader. I am in young adult or middle grade and I rarely come out of those lines. So uh, Klaus is kind of different for me, even though we both like reading, he's still really different. And then there is uh, Senny, which obviously she's different from a lot of people. I, I know no one who loves biting things as much as Sunny. I don't like biting things. So we're kind of different from each other. Pick this series up to be honest. It's really good. I really like it.
obviously you have to keep in mind that it is a I don't even know if it's a children's or a middle grade maybe in between so it's really like it's a children's series so it's not gonna be super high vocabulary and there's gonna be some sentences explaining words which I think is really great because as a French Canadian uh, honestly like uh, English is not my first language and as a child I maybe would have liked to have those books it would have helped me so much with my English and I think it's really nice that it, um, he's explaining some words and, and obviously it's going to be repetitive because children don't have the same like memory as us they don't retain in, as much information as us obviously so I think it's really nice it's a really nice gloomy <laughs> dark series and terrible reading days. I haven't had those days since Monday. <laughs> it is much, much later than the sixth day and I finished my fourth book which is not that great but it's not that bad either. So yeah I just finished The Reptile Room by Lemony Snicket and it was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than the first one. I rated 4.25 stars out of 5 stars. I really did love it. I love the characters. I love the children. There were some points that I'm like, oh, schnitzel. I, like, they should do something about that. Uh, how the adults and the children communicate together. How um, the adults never trust the children. But at the same time, uh, when I was a child, my mom and my dad wouldn't trust everything I said. And it's really, uh, like, I understand why the characters were made that way, but sometimes it's, like, frustrating, like, to see how dumb they are. But, yeah, I really liked it. So Then, finish a book in one day. For me, this was the book I finished. I finished it yesterday. And this is The Wide Window. And this is The Miserable Mill, the fourth one that I also read in a day. And I really, really enjoyed this book. It was my least favorite out of the four of them because I obviously it's repetitive like I said but it was like I didn't love the story as much as the three others. I finished this morning The White Window is that, and I really liked it. I gave it three, uh, 4.25 out of 5 stars and then I finished A Miserable Mill and this one is my least favorite right now. I give it 3.75 out of 5 stars. These are all the books I read in the Booktube-a-thon and I'm really happy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope that you enjoyed this one. And if you would like to subscribe and hit the like button, it would really help me out. And I would be happy for you to do so. So have a nice week. Goodbye.